Now, welcome. This is Josh Stoller with Precision Planting. I'm a region manager of Southern Illinois. And one of the things that we're showing um, this year is, is uh, clarity with strip till and kind of some of the management that we've got uh, with monitoring. When we get used to monitoring planters, we're very specific on singulation, spacing, down forth, some of those things. When we get to something like air seeders or strip till, and there's a lot of money tied up into those, we want to know and understand what are we doing a little bit better than what I've got now. So one of the things that we've done on air seeders, we've got blockage monitors. So these are basically telling is one line or a drop plugged or flowing. It's an on or off. But we start seeing many situations when uh, either on a seeder or on a strip till rig where it's partially plugged and all of those are still flowing but not at the right rate. And so when I've got a strip till rig specifically that there's high horsepower and high dollars in the rig itself, um, we can't afford to do it wrong. And so a lot of times when I see something that's partially plugged, say if I would have a chunk that's stuck in a meter roll and I've got 80% the flow, you know, we've got it just for demonstration purposes. If I have it mostly plugged here and I start seeing that on the monitor, you know, I start seeing I'm dropping off on my consistency. I'm deviating from what I'm trying to do, right? And on this one as well, you can start to see if I've got all of those um, rows, I've got some that are low, some that are high, what is it? So on an air seeder, I would see maybe a tower that something's halfway stuck in there. So those are things that we could catch, you know, catch chunks, catch rocks, um, you know, where fertilizer prices were last year, thankfully they've come down, um, but it gets to be extremely expensive. And we've all seen that in the field. When you're looking at it, I see one row that I can pick out is behind, or it looks like it's significantly nutrient um, um, restrained. Right, you could pick that out over and over. A lot of time that is application like this that's been pulled back or partially plugged. So now with clarity, we could take the same 2020 that we've had in the planter combine, now the sprayer with things like Symphony and, and use it on a dry strip till rig to where now I can get a lot better and more efficient with those. I mean, there is a lot of interest. There's a lot of guys starting to look at and run. When we initially started with this, it was more focused on air seeders and I mean, basically non-singulated crops. And many of those were putting nutrients on with uh, the uh, air seeders. And so we looked at it, we're like dry strip till. This is one of the things that we've been lacking in. And again, I mean, the, the guys that are um, doing dry strip till are some that are have been pushing the limits, right? And so again, with the investment of, of the expensive equipment that it takes, we can't can't afford to do it wrong. And so guys come to us and they're, they're looking at say, I didn't realize that we could do anything with this uh, strip till pass. Uh, well, we can, and, and we can get it fairly specific on making sure that I get as consistent as possible, not only with the inputs, but also with that machinery and that, that pass. This is available now. So if you've got blockage sensors now, we would just tie into those. If we do not yet have blockage uh, sensors, we could add some and then, yeah, everything's fully available.